Okay guys, it's been a minute since we've worked on the Jeep. So in the last video you would see that we took out the engine and found that number 5 piston was just gone. So, in the meantime, this is what we came up with. A lot of guys were against putting in the V8 into this Jeep because it's been done too many times. So we got a brand new second hand engine with a new engineered head and all the gaskets. So in today's video I'll be putting this engine together and hopefully by the end of the video back into the Jeep. While I'm busy doing the engine, I've got somebody working on the Jeep, cleaning up the engine bay, getting rid of all the excess oil and stuff that was just everywhere. So this engine I'll be doing on a time lapse. Enjoy. Okay guys, so before I continue with this engine build, I want to show you guys something I bought on Amazon and I'll put the link down below because I think this is really an awesome device. So this is a digital torque adapter. So it works like a torque wrench, you can just preset all your settings on this. So this device is pretty awesome, it's very cheap and I'll put the link down in the description. Make sure you go check it out.
Okay guys, so it's another day and I've taken the time during the night to assemble the engine as far as I could. I'm still waiting for one or two parts, but this doesn't stop me from putting this engine back into the Jeep. So today we will do exactly that. So it's quite early in the morning still, but this is how clean the engine bay is at the moment. I've got a few stuff wrapped just so we don't get dirt inside of the aircon lines or the power steering lines so this might be a mission let me jinx myself it's going to be the toughest thing i'll ever have to do is to put this engine in here so we will see how it goes i'm just waiting for my help and then this bad boy will be in that jeep so let's hope it all goes well Okay, so engine is in, engine mount is on, working on that side bracket and then lining up the gearbox which shouldn't be too much of a hassle but getting there. Okay guys, so that was actually pretty easy. Um, I think the waist and that balancer really helped to get this engine in here. So all I've left to do is now all these bolts holding on the gearbox. The gearbox is lined up perfectly, so I'm happy. So this is the only schlep I've got left to do. So this is going well. So as well as this install went, I hope this engine is going to run the same. Anyways guys, um, if you made it this far in the video, Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the like button so far. Let's get back to fastening the gearbox and then take it from there. Okay guys, so engine is in, gearbox is on, but I'm still waiting for a few parts like the O-rings some bolts just a few things here and there so so that's going to be a wrap for this video thank you for watching keep safe cheers